What's up, y'all, man? I've been thinking about y'all, man. I was just like, man, I need to make a video for y'all. You know, for new driver or experienced driver. Even though we're experienced driver, man, we still learning, man. I remember going to CDS school and our teacher said, if you, when you start learning this road, that's when you put yourself in danger. And I was just like, he ain't lying, cause you learn something every day, man. And I feel like the number one thing is, man, don't be scared to ask for help. That's the number one thing. Man, I, I put content for y'all. You know, some stuff I post on Instagram, Facebook, I don't put on YouTube. And uh, I don't know, man, I just feel like it's just so much easy just to post on Instagram and Facebook because you ain't got to edit and all that. And I got video, I got some videos on there, man. I got videos and how to freaking use your tablet on the truck, all that stuff, bro. Like, I post, you know, on Instagram and Facebook a lot, too. So if you ain't follow that, man, that's just free content for y'all, man. Put you in here with all that stuff. And uh, I post on YouTube, too. Y'all see, you know, I'll show y'all where y'all need to go. And stuff like that. But look, man, don't be scared to ask for help, bro. Do not be scared. Like, it be times I be bagging up in these truck stops. Like Lugs and Pilot, they you know they be packed at nighttime. Look at these trucks. You see this truck right here, man. This, this truck trying to find somewhere to go right now. You got people parking on the side right there. You know, you gotta squeeze in, and you know, sometimes you might need help on the, you know, bagging up. Sometimes, you know, most times, I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't gonna lie. Truck drivers out here, man. It might be a little bit different on the road, but when you get to a truck stop, bro, and you, they see you got a problem bagging up, somebody might come out there. It's a good, I say a good, good 80% of chance somebody gonna come out there and try to help you out. If you, like, bagging up and trying to get in there, somebody gonna come out there if you keep trying to bag it up, you can't get in the hole, because that happened to me plenty of time. And, man, so... If, and another thing too, if you got a question on securement, man, ask, bro. Like, ask your teacher. You can ask me. Whatever, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to help. The hotline you got at Maverick to call when you come to Maverick, they willing to help you help you out. Shoot, I even Facetime a guy yesterday about a load slinkies. I didn't have a slinkies load in so long, but that's on my YouTube. That's on my YouTube channel, the slinkies. Uh, if you want to check that out, just type in Zabo Truck Slinkies. And um, I got other security videos on my Instagram and Facebook, too. But anyway, I had a call now. Like, man, I forgot I even had on my YouTube channel. But I was just like, damn, I remember posting this. But anyway, I had to FaceTime them. And it was just like, okay, uh, you got to put this way, to put it that way. You remember the other rule? And I'm like, yeah, I remember now. So when I got that done, that done I was like, okay, that's how you do that. And, you know, it be some time, man, you be doing a load. Uh, you ain't did that load in like seven months. I be like, dang, how you do that low? You know? And shoot, I just went and called the security me because I was like, man, you know, I just make the phone call, FaceTime, they're gonna walk me through it right there. You know, so I was just like, okay, cool. And then when you go, when you look, when you go do them quizzes, man, because I'm gonna be real, man. At Maverick, you're gonna do some quizzes. Them quizzes, pay attention to every question. Them security videos, you look at my Instagram, Facebook, pay attention. Study them videos. Because look, it's so many chances they're going to give you. I think when I was there, they only gave you like two chances, two or three chances. But after that, they sending you home. They sending you home. Like, I mean, they're going to work with you, man. It's not hard. You just really got to pay attention to every detail. Like, when you're in the classroom, pay attention. Take notes. Like, Something you don't understand, answer like ask, like okay, what why you know why you do this? But you got me, man. If you think about going or you just watch my videos or whatever, you know, if you got a question my videos, whatever, I can you know help you out with it. But when you do good out here, ask the question. That's that's not, that's the big thing. Ask question, man. Ask question. You know, sometimes when I go to these shippers or what I gotta drop a load off, and they ain't got a sign. You know, they say truck this way. You know what I'm doing? I'm pulling to the side, putting my flashing on. I'm walking inside the building. Which way where I need to go? Because look, man, you don't want to get this big truck stuck nowhere, man. That's just too much. Just too much to get this big truck stuck somewhere. So, I get out of ass, bro. I get out of ass. I'm not finna be playing. I ain't finna be stuck nowhere. Because I been stuck. When I first started at Maverick, bro, I'm telling y'all. No lie, I ain't got no reason. I'm putting all my stuff on Front Street. I ain't got no reason to lie. I've been stuck plenty of time. Bro, I got stuck so much starting off, bro. So much. I'm talking about a lot. 
Like, I'm talking about a lot. Like, I would just... <laughs> bro, I don't know what the... I don't know what the hell I was doing when I first started, bro. I was just new. And, but as I keep doing it, man, it just got better. But it was just like, I got stuck because... I don't know, man. It just... My dumb tail, one time, I went across, a, like, a mud... Little, like a little mud It was like a little bit mud I like I ain't finna get stuck here You know I got a big power truck Man that little th It was like a little small little hole When I got stuck But then before I knew I had four wheel drive I could have got out of it But nobody told me I had four wheel drive And one day I had called a shot He was like You know you got four wheel drive right So I learned that later After I got in another hole he was, and, I, and I got out the hole I said, dang, I didn't know that. Because, you know, if I knew I had four-wheel drive, I could have got that first hole in the, when I first came to marry. So it's just, you know, stuff, man. Sometimes, um, uh, sometimes, it's, if you don't know something, you, you know, you won't know what, you know, what, you know, what to add. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all now. Like, we have four-wheel drive in the truck. You ever get stuck in the hole. And, you know, stuff I had to learn, you know, going through this, man, through my experience. So everything, some stuff, you know, I might not teach you everything, you know what I'm saying? But most of the stuff I'm teaching you, you going you know, you going you gonna know when you come out here. If you, you know, you follow my channel, you follow my Instagram, and Facebook, you gonna know. The next thing, man, is get out and look, man. Get out and look. If you bagging up the truck, please get out and look, man. This will happen to my mirror. This is why I gotta go to Little no, not no Little Rock, Madison shop to fix this mirror because somebody missed my mirror. This guy just bagged up. He didn't even get out and look. He said he been driving for five years. He said I never hit nothing. Which I mean, stuff happened, bro. But you gotta get out and look, bro. Like he could have avoided that. I was blowing my horn, but I guess he said he didn't hear it. But if you would have got and look, he would never hit my mirror, man. But I get out and look. You know, I, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I'm not trying to hit nothing because I don't want to call safety. I don't want to call like, man, you gotta get your put your truck number in. You, then they gonna ask you like, what happened? I'm just trying to stay out of trouble, bro. I'm just trying to get my money, make my money, and go home, bro. Like, I ain't even trying to go, you know, training class. You know, if I can avoid that stuff, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to just be making reckless mistake when you know you can't avoid it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to, you just trying to make your money, go to your family. And go home. That's what you trying to do, man. You ain't trying to uh, call safety or nothing like that because you made a mistake you, you know, you could avoid. So, make sure you get out and look. The next thing, man, is I always do a pre-trip, man. I always do a pre-trip. That is so important, man. Um, you definitely got to check these tires. Like, check your tire. Check your light. Uh, check stuff, man. I remember one of my lights went out. And, and I had the freaking call breakdown for Maverick, right? And then, you know, they came fix my light. Soon I got that light fixed, I was driving probably 100 miles. Went to a way station. I had to do a DLT inspection. So just imagine if I didn't go out there and check my light. What they would have did? They would have gave me a ticket. Quick. And then that messing up my performance pay. That messing up my money. So, no, nah, I'm not finna do it. I'm finna get out and do a pre-trip. And also, it can save your life. You got to do a pre-trip, bro. I, Sony, I'm going to be real, bro. It, a lot of these drivers out here don't do pre-trips, bro. I just see people crank the truck and leave. Do not do that, bro. You taking a risk, bro. You taking a risk. You taking a risk for you you and somebody else on the road. Do your pre-trip, man. Not going to take long, man. Do what you got to do. Open the hood. Look at your lights. All that stuff, bro. Because, look, it's, it, you messing your money up when you get like violation like that on your license. You messing your license up and you messing your money up. So, you don't want to mess it up. Number four, man, do good trip planning. Use the amount that Mary gave you in the class, or you can buy one in the truck stop. But I just wait and I go to Mary. They give out free mounts. If I go up there and I want a mount, I'm going to give me a mount. But look, just you can wait to get a Maverick, get you a mount, or you can just buy one out here if you want to do that. But And get a good GPS. I heard Garmin is good. Um, I'm I mostly here Garmin is good. But I'm going to be honest, I use the, uh, my mounts for Maverick, and I use the uh, truck GPS. I think that's good. A lot of people don't use, like the truck GPS. I have no problem with it. But everybody peeing different, man. Everybody peeing different. And uh, one day, I need to make a video, man, for y'all, man. I need to ask, like, different truck drivers, like, what GPS y'all use. So I'm going to make a video like that one day. Like, 
ask like different church right what gps you use what's a good gps i'm gonna make that for y'all one day and number five start early as possible look bro if you start early as possible you ain't gotta fight for no parking spot i got so lucky to got that parking spot right here i got super lucky because they got just left the parking spot not too long ago i pulled in here it was full this thing was full around like six o'clock i said damn six o'clock early as hell the thing that be full, but sometimes be like that, man. It's different little, different pilots. But when you got no small truck stop that you know they have way more parking than Lowe's and Pilot, but you know Lowe's and Pilot got them points that you can go take a shower with. So that's why you see everybody here, they get snacks, using their points, and they get their fuel. So you're gonna see a lot of truck jobs at these, the big trucks stop like Love, Flying J's, and Pilot. So everybody gonna be here. But you start early, early in the morning, early as possible, about, about three three to four or if you get at two well i say about three or four that'd be a good time three or four and you can get there get done early oh my gosh like you ain't you'll be good you ain't finna fight no parking spot unless you in atlanta that's the only place i see in atlanta but other than that atlanta georgia but other than that you good to go you start early you get done early you know so you start early you you you, you, ain't, you can beat that traffic you start late in the day you'll be Parking late, hard to find parking spot, and you got to fight track. But you start early in the morning, man, nobody is on the road early in the morning like that. You can just go ahead, you see the sun coming up, and you ain't nobody, you know, really on the road like that, like 3 o'clock. You can just go through. You ain't got nothing to hold you up. So this is stuff I've been learning on the road. This stuff I've been learning. You know, I've been driving two years. This stuff, I feel like, dang, this is a point. I got to tell y'all. I got to tell y'all about this stuff. So. If y'all like this video, man, like it and subscribe, man. I got more content coming up for y'all, man. Thank y'all for supporting the channel, man. But y'all got any questions about marriage transportation or flatbed trim questions in June, just let me know. I'd be glad to help, and I'll see y'all next time.